Hello, everybody, and welcome into the SFA Season 13 Week 10 Game Day. We've got an absolute classic coming up. We've got Coach Fink and the Kansas Jayhawks, never won on Bear Kit or on Game Day before, taking on the number 19 ranked Arizona Wildcats. Brand new offense trying to mitigate josh gamara from throwing the game away as you see on our game day graphic if you don't know what the sfa is it's an online dynasty ran through discord and youtube and twitch you do not need the game at all you can claim a team you can set the depth chart you can set playbooks you can recruit you can hire coordinators and you can participate in server games like our sports book and a fully functional fantasy football uh, to earn recruiting rewards and players to add to your team to grow them into a national champion and if you happen to win i'll send you a national championship trophy and send it right to your house with some home field gear as well um and if you guys do watch live, you may run into some ads here and there. So feel free to drop a Twitch Prime. It supports the channel. It supports uh, buying all of that stuff for when somebody does win the Natty. And uh, it's greatly appreciated. We also have Patreon, so we do have some commands for those. And we are affiliated with Home Field, the collegiate apparel company. Uh, they are super cool, focus on vintage designs. It's not just football schools. They have like over 180 uh, schools currently and they're always adding new stuff new collections so check it out use code sfa all caps uh, for 15 percent off your first purchase and we are doing a secret santa this season um, for this holiday season all of those uh, dms have been sent out we already got a couple of confirmations sent back to me so uh, if you have yet to put your order in uh, let's get it in that way we can make sure all of our co coaches do get their uh, home field t-shirt before Christmas and so we can show them off to the world um, but any of the case we've got a game to play and let's go through the rosters and then we'll get into the game so we're going to start out with the Kansas Jayhawks who started out 4-0 made their way up into the teens and now they're staring 4-4 four four right in the face and remember in Dogwater can you guys hear me just to make sure I'm not talking to myself um but they are led by the SFA player, freshman quarterback, Bryson Shant. Uh, 89 speed, big time speed guy. So we'll see how he does on game day today. And at running back, the transfer running back from App State, Akron Barron, the SFA player, 93 speed. And at wide receiver, the number one receiver is JJ Justice. He's not on here because he's also their star cornerback. So he's an athlete that plays both ways. Uh, but they also have Jack Walters, Anthony White, and the SFA player Terry Butler. At tight end, it's Chauncey O'Donnell. And SFA player Donnie Stone on that left side. But the offensive line is not all that great. But lucky enough for Kansas, Dogwater has never recruited a defensive lineman in his life. So no harm, no foul there for Kansas. On the defensive end, they do have the leader in sacks on in the country tez white at nine except i don't think he's had a sack in about four or five weeks so we'll see if he can get back on the score sheet today and then at linebacker they've got rod rob gibson in the middle and then the sfa player billy gilmore at the right outside linebacker position and at corner jj justice like i said one of the best players on this team charisma mukaida is an sfa player as well and they have a couple other cornerbacks here, pretty serviceable. They are very deep at their uh, secondary positions. As you got Derek Harrison here and Patrick Chung, the SFA player, senior safety. And at kicker, it's going to be Bobby Copeland, the senior, and he is nine for twelve on the year, seventy-nine kick power, bad uh, accuracy. So we'll see what he does today. And now we've got Arizona, who is led by quarterback Josh Gamara. They were only 4-2, and two and they were feeling like all hopes were lost, and then they made a playbook change to go all run. And so Josh Gamara not playing as much hero ball, not throwing away the games. Um, and Matt Bowers having himself a career year so far. He is a power back, so we'll see how he does today. Alex Jansen is the transfer fullback over from Oklahoma. And the wide receivers we know and love. It's Mike Wishbone. Their second wide receiver is Alan Lazard. 
And you got Pew here um, and Deshaun Prince in the slot, the freshman SFA player. And Lazard will be tight end two. And Luigi will be green or will Luigi Greenberg will be tight end number one. On the line, though, they got Craig Scotland, the SFA player on the left hand side. And then on the right guard, you got Big Fuck Chuck Valverde. And on the right side, Maurice Campbell. And on the defensive, like I said, they don't recruit defensive linemen. They have an injury, so don't expect much pressure from them. But their linebackers where this gets scary. Taylor McQueen in the middle. Watch out for him, especially if he starts rushing the passer. And Poe Castle as well. Two star players there. James Rose, one of the leaders in interceptions in the country. Ike Wishbone, SFA player and brother of Mike Wishbone on the offense. Ashton Graham and Perry Williams, the SFA player as well. And then in the secondary, Terrence Torrance and Sid Nash, the SFA player, the Legion of Dread. If you see dreadlocks, you just know that they are a beast. And, of course, the kicker. I can't go into his stats, otherwise it crashes the game. But Sebastian Janikowski, we know him. We love him. He is a fun time at the kicker position. That's all I'll say. So let's get on into it and Dogwater or guys listen to the fight song. I didn't get a fight song request from um, Fink so unfortunately he is not having one um, but let me know the sound on this. It shouldn't drown out my voice. You should be able to hear it. Uh, let me know if it's too loud or too soft. Tiny bit louder please. How is that? How is that? Hello, 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 hello. Did I turn it up at all? Kind of quiet. Okay. Turn up a little bit more. How about now? Hello, hello, hello. That should be great. All right. I turned it up a little bit here. All right. So let that play. All right. And Dogwater wanted the... Uh... Dogwater wanted... The all cardinal jersey. Remember, he is at home. All right, Kansas. We're going to go all blue for Kansas. Fink, are you here? I wonder if Fink's even here. I don't think so. But we're going to go all blue versus the all red. Kansas versus Arizona Wildcats. And let's get the prediction rolling. Remember, we don't go, we don't do any spreads or any of that honky tonk out here. This is just a straight up prediction with the channel points. So Arizona or Kansas, you're gonna have a minute to do it. Uh, let's see what you got. As uh, for the sports book, this is a uh, four and a half point favorite for the Arizona Wildcats, and it's an over under a 52 and a half. And we also have that first TD line. Uh, for Kansas, you got Ed Krong Barron, Bryson Shant, or JJ Justice. And for the Wildcats, you got Matt Bowers, Alan Lazard, or Mike Wishbone. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this game. You got one team trying to crawl out of the gutter in Kansas. And then Arizona, who has climbed out of the gutter, has two straight victories over top 25 teams. And they are trying to get back into that playoff race. And now with Stanford losing, all of a sudden the door starts to open up a little bit on a, you know, chance to get back into that divisional race. So we'll have to see how that's all impacted. They really want to win this game, though, today. See, the game doesn't realize that you have Gamara. <laughs> so it's really like an equal offense here. And let me know when the prediction is over. Uh, somebody should throw some points on Kansas just for the heck of it. Otherwise, you're betting against the house on your 2.1K. Very excited for this game. This is a... While this game not, isn't necessarily like an insane um, game in terms of skill it's a huge lore game which is what you always like to see all right so dogwater putting a 2.1k on himself if he wins he gets it back if he loses he gets none of it <laughs> so a uh, lose lose situation for dogwater but here we go in the game of the week sfa game day 
super excited for this one. And remember, folks, we got recruits coming after this. There's Coach Dogwater talking to his star quarterback, Josh Gamara, saying, throw the ball, baby. Massive game here for Arizona. And guess what? This one's in Tucson, so you just know there's going to be some shenanigans that happens here to today. Coach Fink in Kansas, he's never won on game day. He is, besides me, we're tied for the longest active head coaches in the SFA. So can Fink get his first career game day win? Yeah, but not a live, not a live game day stream. So on stream. Oh, there's Gamara. Uh-oh. He's throwing the ball, Dogwater. You got Taylor McQueen right there. Will he get another historic commentary call today? What's going to happen this week, folks? Kansas versus Arizona. A loss here for Arizona would probably be the funniest thing ever. Beats Arizona State and Coastal and then gets domed by Kansas. All right, here we go. Kansas calls the toss, and they are going to kick the ball first. We're going to see Josh Gamara and company out here first. And we are off here in Tucson. It's a beautiful day for some SFA football. It's a short kick, and we've got a nice return here. And they get out to the fifth or to the 30. So here comes Gamara. 200 yards, no TDs, no interceptions in the last few weeks. How are they going to fare today with this new look offense? As they come out in shotgun to start the day. First and 10 here. They are just going to hand it off. And that's going to be Gamara by himself. They get a nice pancake from Big Fuck Chuck. And that's an 11 yard rush for Gamara to start the game. So once again, split back set here. They're going to mess around with the formations. Luigi Greenberg in motion. Mike Wishbone down to the bottom of your screen. Welcome in, Fink, as we got a dump off here. And oh my, already JJ Justice making a deflection. Josh Kamara never had a chance. You do not want to target JJ Justice of all people. You want to go straight at Charisma Mukaida up against Mike Wishbone at the top. We're going to get another throw here as he goes out wide to Wishbone. And he stiffies off Charisma Mukaida. The stiffy strangler makes an appearance. The famous nickname for Mike Wishbone. So a nice play there from Wishbone. As now they're in inside the 40 on this opening drive. And I'm calling out Tez White today. He leads the country in sacks but has not had a sack in about a month. As we float that one out to Luigi Greenberg. Oh my, he dropped it. It was almost intercepted off the deflection. We've already got some fireworks here in the first drive of the game, folks. Coming out shotgun yet again. Patrick Chung coming down to the box. And here's Matt Bowers. First carry and he's brought down in the backfield. Billy Gilmore, tackle for loss there. Bowers not doing much. Third and 11 here for Arizona. Coming back out in the shotgun. I thought this is all two tight end sets. Must not be as they're going to fake it. And Gamara, he floats that out and he completes it. But he's short of the line to gain as he tries to hit Pew. So decision time for Coach Dogwater on the first drive. And they are going to go for it. All right, here we go. Here's more shotgun. Fourth and two now. Man in motion, that's Luigi Greenberg out wide. Hands off to Bowers up the gut, and he's going to get the first down. A fresh set of downs here on the first drive of the game, getting aggressive. Dogwater not wanting to give up any momentum early on. Now here come the two tight end sets. Lazard puts his hand on the ground, and there goes Bowers. He gets about five. Anybody who runs the ball from shotgun on a sh on a third and short or a fourth and short, that is not a reasonable play call. Stop it. 
All right, second and five here. We got a handoff, and we got a run again, and now it's third and inches. So another chance for Kansas to get off the field. I am quite surprised that Arizona decided to go for it instead of bringing Sebastian Janikowski out on the first drive. But third and inches here. Got to watch out for the run with these three down linemen. They are going to throw it. Gamara dumps that off, and he finds a completion. There's Deshaun Price, one of his favorite receivers, the freshman from Arizona. First and 10 now. Arizona, great drive here in the red zone to start out the game. First and 10, J.J. Justice against Alan Lazard at the bottom of your screen. As we're going to hand it out wide to Bowers. Can he turn the corner? No, they just push him out. Second and eight here from the 11. They can still get a first down inside the two. Two tight ends, though, on this left-hand side. They're going to power run it up the gut. They over-pursue, and Bowers carries the defender about 10 yards. What a run for Matt Bowers. A fresh set of downs, and they are about to score. First and goal from the one. Can they punch it in here? Hand off to Bowers. Touchdown, Arizona. They score on their opening possession as they take a lead 7-0. So an impressive drive here to open the game from the Wildcats. They had a fourth down, and they converted it. As we see, one of the biggest upsets of the week, Rex Beavers and company goes down to Ole Miss by three points. We've seen a lot of top 25 upsets this week. Arizona trying not to be another one. As this was another big one, is unfortunately the dream is over for LA Tech. They can still beat Tennessee next week. However, it will be tough. All right, let's get back to the game as Kansas now is going to take over. So a nice opening TD now for Arizona. How is Kansas going to respond? Deep kick there as Bryson Chant, the freshman quarterback, comes out. J.J. Justice, top of the screen. Akron Barron in the bottom. Harry Butler in the slot. Get a handoff here, Akron, and he goes nowhere to start the game. Brought down by who else but Poe Castle. Look at that block shedding. Second and 11. Hey, let's go. Dogwater gifting a sub. Hype, hype, hype as Bryson Chant hands it off here to Akron Barron. All right, so a quick third down here for Kansas as Bryson Chan, he has some time. Floats that out wide. That's not going to do it. J.J. Justice unable as Taylor McQueen collapses on J.J. Justice. And it's a three and out for the Kansas Jayhawks. So Arizona... Gets a long touchdown drive and a three and out. A dream start for the Wildcats here. A little bit too good of a start. Everybody's wondering what's going on. Where's the downfall for Arizona? Well, Josh Gamara's at the helm. Anything can happen at any moment. First and 10. Here we go. Josh Gamara hands it off to Matt Bowers up the gut. And he gets about three. Kansas is going to have to stop the run early and often and force Gamara to throw the ball. That is the key to victory in this 3-3-5 stack. Second and seven now. They are switching the play. Luigi to the other side. Second and seven now. Gamara, he is going to throw it this time. No rush to speak of, but a bad throw out of bounds. He misses his target. He'll claim he was throwing the ball away, but we all know the truth. Third and seven now. Coming out empty now across the 50. They make an adjustment. Gamara, he has some time over the middle, and he connects, but instead of turning up field and getting the first down, Aaron Pugh goes for the stiff arm, and they're going for it again. 
Their second time going for it on the game. Arizona getting aggressive today, and Bowers gets it. He breaks a tackle from J.J. Justice, and that's a 10-yard gain. Arizona getting aggressive in no man's land, and they come out two for two and driving yet again. Here come quick option, and a Gumbara gets absolutely plastered by Patrick Chung in the backfield. An absolute spear had his legs flailing. Second and 15, he just popped up. Here we go again. As they fake the handoff to Bowers. Gamara, he's throwing it at open, man. That's Deshaun Prince. And it's going to be another third and short. So Gamara playing really well in this new offense. Five of eight, 54 yards. The run game's working as they bring out this power set yet again to the left side. Watch the run. Kansas has not been able to get any stops here in the short yardage game. Bowers, and he gets the first down again. Just Kansas does not have the big meaty guys in the trenches to make these stops. As Arizona is dinking and dunking it down the field. Now their press coverage. Hand off the gut. That's a massive hole for Bowers. Touchdown, Arizona. They take a 14-0 lead. A dream start here for Arizona. And is it too good to be true? That is the question. Arizona, back-to-back -back top 25 wins. And now they have a 14-0 lead at home. Is this too good to be true? We're all waiting for the other shoe to drop here with the Wildcats as they've done so often before. But I don't know. The way they're playing, I don't think that shoe is coming. Arizona might have unlocked the cheat codes to the Legion of Dread and Josh Gamara. First and 10 here for Kansas. They are stunned, down 14 in a crazy environment as the Jayhawk never has a chance against a Wildcat. Dogwater, let me cook. Bryson Shant now, second and 10. They're still trying to find their first down of the day. Another blitz. Shant over the middle. That's a floater, and that's a conversion. Jack Walters. A big-time throw from Bryson Shant. And man, Shant looks small in the pocket. Reminds me of a certain Carolina Panthers quarterback. Say it with me, folks. Bryce Young sucks. Did Fink accidentally recruit <laughs> Bryce Young? As you got a first and 10 here. Bryce and Shant delivering a strike. And that's another nice catch. Terry Butler, the SFA player, making a play here as they're starting to put together a nice little drive. Second and three now. Bryson Shant is three for three. Second and short here. Stacking that line. Hands off to Akron Barron. And he's brought down by Poe Castle in the backfield. His second TFL of the game. Poe Castle has turned it from a one star. Or maybe a, maybe it was a two star. Into one of the best linebackers in the Pac-12. As remember, folks, anybody with dreadlocks in that defensive uh, unit is an SFA player. Third and four now. Shant delivers a dime, and he's going to be short. So decision time here for Fink. Are they just going to bring the punt team out again? Yes, they are. So this Kansas defense is going to have to find a way to get a stop. That's a fair catch as this first quarter comes to an end. Kansas has eight plays ran and zero points. And Arizona's just dominated time of possession. They dominated everything. Dinking and dunking it down the field, but they're coming out empty here. They're getting a little, biting off a little bit too much. As here comes the sack team. Josh Gamara goes down. And Tez White finally 
reaches double digit sacks. That's his 10th of the year after staying at that nine mark for what seems like all season. The sack leader in the country gets to 10, and that was massive. As now Arizona's inside their own 10. Can they find a way to keep the drive going like they've done so often already in this game? It's going to be a screen pass. They dump that off, and Bowers breaks two tackles, and he somehow turns that into positive yardage. That was risky as Gamara went back into the end zone. Third and 16, though, as this is going to end the dry or end the first quarter. So at the end of one, in a crazy start here, the home team, the Wildcats and Coach Dogwater, take a 14-0 lead. But Kansas looks to be getting the ball back here. Kansas needs to make themselves a play here. Second and or they are two of four on third down. Third and 16. You cannot. Give up a first down here. Dumps that off. There's Luigi Greenberg, and he is going to be short. So fourth down, they get a little bit of room for the punter. So fourth and ten incoming. Kansas is going to get some nice field position. Plenty of time here to get back in this game, and they are getting some nice blockers. But Perry Williams on the tackle. Tackles William Manson. First and 10 now as we have J.J. Justice. Bryson Shantz. He has some time. Delivers a strike to the running back again. There goes Barron down the sideline. If you remember, folks, at the beginning of the year, Barron was in the Heisman conversation. So he's getting some action. You got to watch out for him. And Shantz still has yet to, uh, as he completely faked out uh, Taylor McQueen there in the flat. Aaron McQueen thought the route was ending, and he turned it into a wheel route. So first and 10 in the red zone here for Kansas. Yeah, I don't know if that was uh, Seabass punting. First and 10, handoff for Barron, and there's a tackle from Taylor McQueen after about two. The run game has been non-existent here for Kansas. Second and eight now for the Jayhawks. Trips left. They're still stacking that box. Seven in the box to be exact. Corner blitz. They dump that off. J.J. Justice makes his catch. It's his second catch of the day. Remember, he plays every snap, offense and defense. The original athlete. One of the original athletes. But Kansas is 0 for 2. They've got to convert here. And look at the slot. Wide open. Shant, it's a corner blitz. Can he get off? No, he's going to be sacked. Shant sacked again. This time it's Ashton Graham off the edge. They brought the blitz and they got home. So now is Kansas going to bring out the field goal team or are they going to go for it? They are going to bring out the field goal team and what's going to be a 35-yard field goal from the left hash. To get Kansas on the board, get themselves a bit of momentum, and there it is. It's good, as this was one heck of a game today, as Michigan barely outlasts Tavarius Trace and A.J. Sampson by one point. Crazy game there today. But Kansas does get out, get themselves on the board. They will not become the first ever team to get shut out on a game day. As Arizona does get this ball, and they are going down at the 15. I thought that was going to be a nice return there for Arizona. Turned into a nightmare as they are once again backed up inside their own 20. So after two touchdown drives, they got stopped in their tracks on the last drive. They're going to hand it off here to Bowers, and he gets stuffed there after getting about five. Decent game. Bowers already up to 66 yards and two touchdowns. Second and five, though, here for Gamara. Staying in that shotgun. Patrick Chung, he brings a blitz, and they get to him. Balls on the ground, but they call it a forward pass. Arizona lucks out. So a third and five now for Arizona in their own territory. 
They fake the throw. Gamara over the middle and destroyed by Chung, but Deshaun Price hangs on. A tight window. They fit it in and he gets smoked and hangs on. A beautiful catch in traffic there. All around a great play. As a fresh set of downs comes on in. And quick option just not going to work there. That was a beautiful throw into the traffic. Best, That's the best throw I've ever seen from Gamara. Not going to lie. And that, that was a great catch from the freshman. As we got two tight ends set now. Second and 12. And they're going to throw it out of this set. And they dump that off. Oh, that was almost picked. I think Lazard thought that was going to get picked too as he dropped it. As Wyatt. He, uh, he tipped that away. Third and 12 now. So third and long. Can Arizona once again... Get a clutch conversion. Only four down linemen. He's yamming a deep win. No. Not enough air under that. He had safety help. So Arizona once again coming up empty as the punt team comes on out. Fourth and 12. As we're going to get a return here from Manson. And he gets speared there by Ashton Graham. So they got a field goal on the last drive. Can Kansas build off that momentum? They've now gotten two defensive stops in a row. They've made some adjustments. Can they get some action on offense? As you see, Sid Nash coming in. Now some audibles going under center. And a quick throw, and Shant just throws that one away. Second and ten now. you got to watch. Don't target James Rose. He... He is definitely a ball hawk as they got two defenders on uh, JJ Justice on the bottom of your screen. Play action fake for Bryson Shan. He throws it to him and down the sideline goes JJ Justice. JJ Justice on the drag route and Poe Castle. Not sure why they're focusing on him as he, oh, Poe Castle bit on that play fake there. JJ Justice ran for 20. Taylor McQueen, though, pushes him out. So first and 10 across the 50 now. Kansas starting to heat it up here in the second quarter. That first quarter was all Arizona. And now uh, Kansas is fighting back here on the road. Akron Barron finds some room here. And he gets about five. He's only at 1.7 yards a carry though. So Arizona's run defense has been amazing. Which has often been their kryptonite on this defense. Shant, we've yet to see him use his legs. As he throws that one deep, and he finds his man! Wide open, touchdown, but wait, no! They're going to call a legal touching on Terry Butler. Unbelievable. Taylor Butler, he was so wide open, but he stepped out of bounds. So the big play taken off the board. Shant now, and he's sacked. No, he gets it away, but that is going to end the drive. Unbelievable change of events from a touchdown to a legal touching. Oh, an absolute blue ball there from the Kansas Jayhawks as they have to punt it. So Kansas has done a little bit better here in the second quarter, but still not much to write home about. So only have three points. Arizona comes back out, though, and they've struggled on their last two possessions. First and ten here. Gamara, they bring a blitz. He floats that out there. Open, man. There's Lazard's first catch. The most dynamic receivers. And for those of you guys who... Uh, who are like, ah, I don't want one stars. A lot of these players for Arizona are one stars, and they are some big time players. As you got a handoff here to Bowers, and he gets about, he's still up, gets about seven. As we hit the halfway point of this second quarter. Second and three here. Luigi Greenberg in the game. Tight end, hand on the ground. He's pass blocking as 
That is a completion to Lazard again. Two catches in a row now. As Arizona has already their 10th first down. Gamar still under 100 yards. Trips right. Three down linemen. They're going to fake the handoff. Gamara, is he going to yam this one? He has time. He does. Down the middle of the field. Wide open, man. White Mike Wishbone for 44. If you thought the pass offense was not going to still be featured in this new offense, you thought wrong as Wishbone gets a big one right there. Working on Charisma Mukaida. Welcome in, Cryo. Is now we're at the 11. First and 10. They can still get a first down without scoring. Gamara, he is going to throw it. He has time. He floats it out. Wide open, man. Touchdown, Arizona. Alan Lazard gives them 21. This half has been all Arizona here today. Just nothing doing on the defensive end. And that first touchdown was Matt Bowers. So if you picked him in your, uh, in your, uh, what was it? Your first TD bet, it was Matt Bowers, the favorite. So Kansas staring a blowout right in the face. They have time and they do get the ball after half. So they do have a chance to double dip here and get it back to a one score game. But it's definitely a tall task considering their offense has been very lethargic. No big plays. The one big play was called back due to a penalty. Some mistakes. Now, we are in Tucson, though. We've seen crazier things happen than an 18-point comeback. And, hell, ECU even blew a 21-3 lead at one point last year. So, anything can happen here for Kansas. Akron Barron gets himself a nice game. Moving that average back up in the right direction. <laughs> 222 to 85, though, in the yardage department. You got to see Bryson Chance start to use his legs. As they bring another blitz, he floats this one out. And that was risky, and it's broken up. Tried to find Jack Walters, and Rose knocks it away. And they've yet to have a third down conversion here. 0 for 4. Can they get one here? This is pretty much a must convert. As Cryo gifts a uh, sub to Fink. As Taylor McQueen hits home. Third down, Taylor McQueen sack. But hey, while Fink is crying, at least he won't be watching an ad. Thank you, Cryo. You're a legend. As it's another three and out here for Arizona. As now we get a punt return here, and they get to about the 50, so plenty of time for Arizona to extend that lead even further. And uh, Josh Gamara quietly having a decent day. The question becomes, though, is when is that big, uh, that big uh, mistake coming for Josh? It's going to come. You know it. It always happens. Here comes Gamara. He steps up into the pocket. He takes off and he slides. What? What are these big brain plays from Gamara? Second and one now as they are inside the 50. Arizona just having their way with this defense today. Another completion over the middle of this time. Lazard and he's heating up. That's his fourth reception now. He has a touchdown. Oh my. Is Arizona quietly coming back this season? It's so out empty now. And they bring a big blitz over the middle. Wide open man. That's Deshaun Prince. Just Arizona having their way. Doing anything they want tonight. Second and two as they are threatening inside the 30. 
Time's ticking. They still have all three timeouts over the middle of the slant route. Wide open again. Working on JJ Justice that time. Deshaun Prince gets about 10. And here comes Arizona. So clock is ticking. They're starting to take their sweet ass time here. I guess not wanting to give Kansas all that much time. If they want to mount a response, still going with the three linebackers. Four man rush. And over the middle, another wide open man. Just zero pass offense or pass defense for this Kansas team. Sheesh. I'm not gonna lie, Kansas might be looking worse than App State against Navy. As Arizona now over the middle and finally an incompletion. Snaps like a 10 straight streak. Second and goal now here for Arizona. They come out in shotgun. Luigi is in the slot. Watch out, safety coming down. They bring the blitz off the edge and he gets hit as he throws again. Billy Gilmore couldn't quite get there. You gotta feel like this defense is gonna have to force some big plays if they want to get back into it third and goal you cannot give up a touchdown here cheating up yet again they bring another blitz it's picked up this time dumped off to luigi and he is stopped so kansas calls a timeout and here comes sea bass So an easy kick here, 25-yard chip shot, and it is good here for Seabass, 24-3. to So Kansas now down 21. They get the ball after half. They got to see if they can get something going here. You got to at least get a field goal, I don't know. Some sort of momentum shifter. You're on the road in a tough environment against a top 25 team that's looking as good as they ever have. You're staring a five-game losing streak in the face. You got to do something here. As you get a nice little play out to Barron. That's not going to do much. 39 seconds left. They do have a timeout. As is, uh, now you got to start questioning, is Bryson Chant going to be a one-year starter? They got Zeke Yeager coming in next year, the five-star SFA in-game recruit. They get a first down there, though. 34 seconds left in the half. Taylor McQueen up to eight tackles. Chant, he takes off finally, and he breaks a tackle, but he gets sacked. They're going to have to hurry it up now. And they decide to take that final timeout. Not wanting to waste time getting back to the line. Second and 11 now. Shant over the middle. And he's going to be short of the line to gain. That's Terry Butler. And you got to think where we would be if Terry Butler did not step out on that deep touchdown. So we're going to spike it now on third down. But it's fourth down. So they're just going to punt it? Oh, what are we doing? You spike it just to punt. I can't believe it. As they almost get there. Oh, it's a fumble. So playing big brain football right there. They knew he was going to muff it. But he gets right back on. All right, so one play here from Arizona. They're just going to kneel it going into halftime. So as we hit halftime, folks, here in Week 10 Game Day, Arizona with a very impressive first half going up 24-3. to Can Kansas battle back? I'm not quite sure. But, folks, it's halftime. As always, check out Home Field Apparel. It's the holiday season. It's a fantastic gift. Check out the collections, all vintage logos, super high quality, extremely comfortable. And uh, I actually got and getting my first orders in the mail this weekend. They're already delivered. I just have to pick them up when I go uh, to where I always get my packages um, tomorrow. So I'll be posting those on the Instagram.
But man, two rushing yards here for Kansas as a dominating time of possession. Pretty much the perfect first half for Arizona. You couldn't ask for anything better. But you gotta feed, think, when is that other shoe gonna drop for Arizona? Remember, this is a team and a core that started 5-2 last year, finished 5-7, missing a bowl game. Kansas, they, <laughs> if they remember against Charlotte last year, they, uh, they know all too well going up by 22 and blowing a lead. So Kansas has made the comeback before. Can they do it again? Kansas will get the ball here first. And the key to this is they have to get a momentum shifting play. You got to get a big play, a big touchdown, a big interception, something to turn the tide against Arizona. So how is Kansas going to do here in the second half? They miscommunicate with J.J. Justice on the first play. Nice. Love to see it. Yes, CCG immunity is still a thing. As you get a handoff here, as Akron Barron gets some room, finally getting that running game going. This is going to be a third and short now for Kansas. Third and three now. You cannot, you cannot. Oh man, they're completely pressing as Shant is going to keep it. He finds his way and gets a big gain there. And that was massive for Kansas. Finally getting themselves a first down on a third down in short. Now they're in business. Can they build off of this? JJ Justice in motion now. Got a handoff up the middle. Akron Barron getting some running room. So he gets six. So here we go. Kansas starting to run the ball now. Plenty of time left. Come on, Kansas. Let's see what you got. Let's make this a competitive game day. We haven't had a competitive game day in a couple of weeks. As that's going to be a sack. That's Ashton Graham yet again. His second of the day coming from the corner. He saw him a blitz. He comes out from the flat and spears him. Third and eight now. As Kansas is one for six on third down. So Shant, can they get a conversion? Only four down Rushman and dumps it off again. And that's a drop, Taylor McQueen. These linebackers are too good. You cannot throw it short of the line. As you get a punt. Bro! Can you guys stop voting for such crap game days? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. You could have been watching Chad Blunt throw bombs right now, but instead we're watching Josh Gamara run the ball. <laughs> yeah, CCG immunity. So Arizona comes out now in the second half. Can they extend the lead? They hand it off here. Bowers is going to be a counter. He has room, and there you go. He's got six yards. Second and four here for Arizona. Once again, coming out in shotgun. They're running way more shotgun than I thought they would in this new offense, but hey, it's working. And it's going to be a read option. Gamara keeps it, and he gets another big run. That's his biggest run since the first play of the game where he ran for 11. As they are tripling Kansas's first downs at this point. They're dinking and dunking it. Quick option. You take the wrong guy. and Should have gone for Gamara there as he gets six. And this could be a long second half if Kansas can't stop the run. Second and four now. Third down. And Bowers, and he gets stuffed there. So third and inches, Kansas has a chance to get off the field here. Not much of a chance. As they have proven to be uh, soft as baby spit, or whatever. <laughs> I formation now, third and short. They're going to go play action fake, throwing it to a wide open man. 
Uh, I'm just banging my head against the table, man. This is depressing. It is depressing, Think. There's just no sign of life anywhere. Either you give up a six-yard gain or there's a wide-open man downfield. There's no in between. First and 10, Gamara up the gut, and he gets stuffed that time. Tez White on the tackle. Second and 10 now. As they just gonna dump it off to the flat, that's Luigi Greenberg, and he gets about 10 once again, and here we go, it's the third and short. The most exhausting way to play football. Just three plays, get to third and short, get a first down. Three plays, third and short, get a first down. Third and inches, corner blitz, they toss it out wide. Another first down to a wide open man. It's like Kansas doesn't even know how to play zone defense. Maybe try man coverage. They're just picking apart the zone, and they're now stacking the box with eight. Gamara throws it on the run to another wide-open man, because of course. Fink has JJ Justice and, and Charisma Mukaida, and they are getting absolutely destroyed by Josh Gamara. This is embarrassment. I am calling for Finkel Schmidt's resignation after this game. As he throws it to the back of the end zone, touchdown, Alan Lazard. He gets the toes in. Touchdown, Arizona, 31 to 3. As this has been an absolute blowout now, fans can start packing it home, going home early. On any of those completions, I don't think there's a guy within five yards. That was ridiculous. So it's all about pride at this point, and we we know Fink clearly has none as he is just set on being the most mid team in history. Four and four, staring four and five in the face now. As Shanthe handed off to Akron Baron, he finds some room here. He spins up for about 12. That's his best run of the day. As we're up across the 40 now, can Kansas mount any sort of attack? We've yet to see any. As Bryson Chant's going to keep it, and he goes down in the backfield. Anthony Patterson on the tackle. No chance there for Kansas. Second and 13 here as they do stack the box yet again. Just everybody near the line of scrimmage begging Kansas to throw the ball past three yards and they're not going to as it's third and long now. So once again, it's going to be third and long and Bryson Chant is going to throw a dump off pass that's at least eight yards short of the line. Third and 15 here. Here's Shant, and he's throwing it deep to literally no one. Not a receiver within 15 yards of that. They probably could have called intentional grounding. And here comes the punt team. An absolute dominant display here from the Arizona defense. As they're going to get the ball back on a return. They have some room to that left side to get about nine. And here comes this offense back to work. And a little surprised that the starters are still in. I would expect them to be resting them at this point as they have this game in hand. And off to the left side. Matt Bowers now gets some run. He has some blockers down the sideline. And that's about 33 yards. Big run for Bowers. His best run of the day as he goes over 100. 
No strength, no quickness, no effort. That is the Finkel Schmidt way, as we are getting an absolute dominant display for this Arizona offense. First and 10 inside the 30. Delayed give to Matt Bowers, and finally some defense as we get a tackle for a loss here. That's Will Wyatt. Somebody finally with pride. Second and 12 now as they're back to the 29. And they're coming out in the I formation here. Gamara under center. He is going to throw this one, and he's sacked again. Tez White getting some garbage time sacks to extend his uh, country-leading 11th sack of the season. Third and 19 now as pro they're still in sea bass range, so we'll have to see what they decide to do here on fourth down if they get there. But third and 19, Gamara, he has time. He floats that out wide, another wide open man, and they go out just short of the line to gain, so you can only expect that they're going to go for it. J.J. Justice just getting cooked by a tight end. And they're going to bring out the kick team. So they're showing a little mercy to the Kansas fans that made their way to the stadium. Is this from right hash? Is another 35-yarder, and it's good. We saw Utah give Michigan a run for their money in a week where we saw two undefeated teams go down. Louisiana Tech and Central Michigan both went down today. As you have about 10 minutes left on this game day. For those of you still around, thanks for watching. You guys are some true sickos. As Kansas has ran as many plays as Arizona has points. That's where we're at today in this game day. An absolute just mutilation. I don't know. The murder. This is an imp. This is an imp like perfect game. Just dominance in every facet kansas hasn't done anything well i mean the only thing you could say is there's been no turnovers so down 31 kansas has the ball can they muster any offense a handoff here runs over one and gets about back to the line of scrimmage Third and five now for Kansas as I believe they're like one for eight. Yes, sir. One for eight on third down. As that was behind the back of the receiver, just not even close there for Bryson Shant as the punt team comes back out yet again on a, another three and out. Now, I'll be honest, like, who, like, who is the worst team on game day in the country? Is it Kansas? Is it App State? Or is it Tennessee? They're all terrible. As you got split back set here for Arizona, as they are continuing to push the envelope, wanting to run up the score. Josh Gamara throws a wide open man down the sideline. There goes Alan Lazard. Patrick Chung trips him up inside the 10. Another big play for the Wildcats. And before we start getting a uh, Gamara, you know, apology letters going or whatever, no. I'm sorry, but even I could ha play a great game at quarterback when there's no coverage on the field whatsoever. Not, there's not been one contested throw all game long as Bowers up the gut, touchdown Arizona as they extend the lead to 38. As this stream is now turned into a rated R stream as we have an absolute murder happening on screen. This is not suitable for viewers under 18. We need parental permission for you to view this murder as the Jayhawk is 
a bloody pulp at this point. We've turned the Jayhawk into chalk. And as Fink decides, he puts up the deuces, and I don't blame you. Sorry, Fink. I wish there would be a, something better, a better showcase for you guys, but it's just been all Arizona here today as we head to the fourth quarter now. No, I got you, Fink. I don't blame you. 41-3 to three here. We'll see if there's anything that Kansas can do. And another dump off over the middle. Finally a first down for Kansas. Let's go, boys. I believe that's their first down of the second half, if I'm not mistaken. Twenty first downs to seven as Bryson Chant is he gets sacked again. Who's gonna get the sack this time? They give it to Anthony Patterson, his second sack of the day. Could have given that to pretty much anybody. He had about four guys in the area. Second and 14 now. They come out empty. Once again, the Legion of Dread just sitting in the box waiting. And they throw this one deep, and that goes to no one. Just no even chance in the accuracy department here for Shant. And one for nine on third down, third and 14. I wonder what is going to happen here today. Third and 14 now for Shant. Three down right linemen, and he's going to throw that into the dirt. And I'd go out, I'd go far as far to say as Bryson Shant might be worse than Bryce Young IRL, and that's that's saying something. Fourth and 14, another punt incoming. Here comes Arizona yet again. As now, congratulations, Kansas. You've run more plays than Arizona has points. It's the little wins at this point, those little ego boosters. As here comes Arizona yet again. They dump that off to Bowers, still throwing the ball at this point. Kamara's up over 300 yards. He has two touchdowns. Is they're going to audible it here. Remember, folks, recruits are coming right after this game. Is Kamara's just going to throw that one away as he was getting blitzed and had nobody? Not sure why you're celebrating, Kansas. You're getting absolutely smoked. Third and eight here for the Wildcats. Offset eye to the strong side. A handoff to Bowers. He reverses his field and he goes down. I, I'm still going to take a uh, shant, <laughs> Yui. I'm sorry, Trace is just not a... 41-3. to three. Kansas does get the ball back, but we got a fumble now and... They pick it back up, though. There's nothing going right for the Jayhawks today. Here comes Kansas yet again. Seven minutes left here in Week 10. That's a dump off, and uh, Anthony White gets about three. Thirteen of twenty-two here today for Bryson Chant, hundred and six yards. Dumps this one off yet again to Jack Walters, who finally gets some running room. Forty-one to three here, Shant. They are driving now as a he escapes, but he is brought down before he can use really any of his athleticism. And we're just delaying the inevitable at this point. But let's see if Kansas can muster something. The home fans who stuck around to watch this murder. 
See if we can give him something to cheer about as we get a dump off there to JJ Justice. And that's five yards. Third and short now. They're one for 10 today on third down. Can they get a first down here? On the run, cross body to nobody yet again. Shant is just sh <laughs> shanting himself as they are going for it here. So they're not bringing out the punt unit for like their 10th punt of the game. Give me a handoff to Akron Barron. He reverses his field and he gets stuffed by Ike Wishbone of all people. And that's a turnover on downs. So Arizona is going to get the cover today. And the over-under, though, was 52 and a half. So we are at 44. So you're cheering for some more Arizona touchdowns if you are an over better. Matt Bowers, 120 yards, three touchdowns. I mean, I, I yeah, I, regressed is a nice word to say what's happened to Kansas from four and oh to four and five and losing by thirty eight on game day. So second and thirteen here, Arizona's running the four minute offense, just running out the clock as we're yamming it deep down the middle, two on one and an interception. Finally. Finally, we get the Josh Gamara pick, and it's Patrick Chung. But it's a little bit too late. But there's the Gamara mistake we all know and love. Finally, some coverage. And you love to see it. Let's go! The Josh Gamara slander can continue. So Kansas, can they muster something? They're only down like five scores. Never know. Can they win this? Can they uh, at least get a touchdown? Come on. Oh, an open man, finally, Jack Walters. He gets 21 before he's hit by Sid Nash. As Sid Nash is going for an injury there. As we head towards the four-minute mark here in the fourth quarter, is this feels like the longest game in SFA history. We're going to get a screen pass now to Barron, and he gets nothing. Taylor McQueen on the tackle. It's like his 20th of the day. Do you remember, folks, The uh, if you want to see an exciting game after this, head to the uh, YouTube channel to see the Patreon uh, watch party of this week. It was the Iron Bowl between Auburn and Alabama. And there were some big play after big play. Tons of scoring from both sides in that one. So if you want to watch that, go ahead. And by the time you're done with that, a recruit should be coming out. The Shant here trying to muster something. He gets the Baron who breaks the Ike Wishbone tackle. And he gets a first down. Kansas starting to wake up here way too late. How are you saying that was worse than this one? Are you insane? This is the worst game of the season. It's not even close. As Bryson Chan, he is going to take off. I literally have it nine highlights for this video this can be like a two and a half minute video as he floated out wide bryson shant gets third and fifth third and five now can kansas somehow find a way to score 
and they do get the first down there. Jack Walters heating up in the fourth quarter. His fourth reception. First and goal here for the Jayhawks. Playing for pride at this point. Shotgun look. Shant. Yes, time. It's about to run out, and it does. Danny Anderson getting involved now. Working on Donnie Stone, the SFA player, just smoking him there with the spin move. So second and goal upcoming from the 15. So we're inside two or the three minute mark. Chance, and they're going to run a screen pass here and to get inside the five. So third and goal now. Clock stops. Third and goal here. Three of 13 on third down. And Bryson Shan, he has some time and throws it on the run. Gets there, but he's short of the touchdown. Fourth down upcoming. And they are going for it. So to get a touchdown here to put the lead to 31. Can Kansas do something crazy? Fourth and goal. He floats it. And they give him the score. Touchdown, Kansas. They cut the lead to 31. Wait a second, folks. We've got a booth review. Did he get the toes in? One, two, I don't know. Will they screw him yet again? It stands! Kansas gets a touchdown! We never thought we'd see the day. As Michigan barely beats UCLA, Tavarius Trace and A.J. Sampson almost did it the unthinkable. But Michigan survives. As we are audibling into an onside kick here. 31 points, you never know. As, oh wait, Kansas has the ball! Hold your horses, folks. 31 point lead only five scores still or four scores with two point conversions kansas has the ball here we go folks the kansas comeback is coming they dump it off to akron baron can he make a movie stiffy's one and he gets smoked by who else but taylor mcqueen and that's the end of the upset Kind of had to like yam that for a touchdown right there to have any chance. So second and seven here. Kansas just trying to make it look a little bit better on the scorecard. Can be a toss out wide and oh, dropped interception by James Rose. He normally takes those to the house. I agree. I agree, Cryo. UNLV is better than Arizona. All right, third and seven here for Shant. It's going to be a screen pass. They get it off. There's Akron Barron. Can he turn the corner? No. Fourth down. He doesn't even get out of bounds. And they're punting. What are we doing here, folks? Oh, my God. Yeet Kansas to, like, the Japanese league. What are we doing? NAIA. Unbelievable. Hit this team off of my screen. Just an abysmal display here today. Arizona is going to win this one. 41-10. All right. A couple more plays here and we'll get out of here. Yeah. 
Thank you guys for still being here and watching this one out. Unfortunately, we did not get a good game day, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. The last play of the game. And Bowers goes out left, and as we hit triple zeros, Arizona wins the game 41 to 10 over the Kansas Jayhawks and Coach Fink, dropping them to a five game losing streak. And for Arizona, they're seven and two. Coming off two top 25 wins and a monster victory here at home. With the Stanford loss this week, the sky is the limit for the Wildcats. As they win this game once again, 41-10. to Thank you guys all so much for watching Week 10. We got four more weeks left in the season. And we'll see you next week. And make sure you check out our, fan, our friends over at Home Field and use code SFA for 15% off. But as always, we will see you next week. All right. Video over. That was something. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's see how this one shook out. We'll go through the stats. Bowers, Bowers. And then that Lazard touchdown is when I just knew the game was over. And it was just, it was all Arizona. That's all you could say today. Gamara, 25 to 35, 312, two touchdowns and one interception. Just no pass defense from the Jayhawks. And then you got Bowers, 124 on the ground, three tutties. And Lazard through the air was dominant. On defense, Taylor McQueen gets a sack and 15 tackles. Graham, the corner, gets two sacks. Two sacks here for passing. The only thing was no turnovers for this defense, but they didn't need them. Seabass hit both of his field goals. And for Air, or for Kansas, man, the freshman, <sighs> Shant just did not look good at all, despite the numbers looking okay on the play sheet. No run game to speak of today. And Barron was your leading receiver. They barely targeted J.J. Justice downfield at all. And it was just a disappointing display. No pancakes and all sacks. That just kind of shows you what the game was. Wyatt tried to do something. Tez White did get two sacks and an interception late from Patrick Chung. But the game was over by then. And that's just the way the cookie's going to crumble. But yeah, folks, it's uh, week 10. I'm going to... Um, post the uh game results i'm going to post the standings and the watch party game if you want to watch that and then we will be uh doing recruits here shortly uh, i am going to eat dinner first as usual so it's going to take me a little while to get those out for you but they will come tonight as always guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week in week 11